but the thing is that just doing those things is not going to get them to trust you hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you get people to actually trust you enough to buy from you because you know you've been building your business online you've been telling people about your product you'll be sending you've been sending them links sending them messages and it seems like nothing nobody's buying right they just they are just like uh I don't I don't know about this and they're they're not even interested right how do you get them to actually trust you so that they'll buy from you because that's the main important thing if they don't trust you they're not going to buy from you so how do I get them to trust you is the topic for today and we're going to get into that uh in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets yeah that's right so how do you get them to trust you I mean I'm sure you've heard gurus tell you all sorts of different things about what you got to do to get people to trust you so that they'll eventually buy from you and you got to do that that's the number one thing if they if that doesn't happen then you won't make sales online at least you'll make very little and and you'll have to get them to trust somebody else and you'll have to be like not you and it, oh, it just doesn't work so we're going to get into that and I before I want to remind you though if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go to the video to watch the video at cis412.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be posting a blog post and there's going to be a video obviously of this and it'll probably be give better than just the audio but still in the audio we should but anyways yeah go there <laughs> and we'll get to that and uh, get to the topic at hand right now so let's just take a look at what do gurus tell you to do right so that's not right that's not right this one this one here okay sorry about that I switched my screen around the wrong way let's get that out of there we don't need it so you know how do you get people to trust you is this is kind of what the gurus tell you to do right they tell you to do this they tell you to engage on their on their on people's stuff right they tell you to engage on other people's stuff they tell you to post every day right they tell you to post the five different types of posts and you know that's all great and good and it's it does work uh but you're doing so much work I mean you're visiting groups that your target market is in and you're answering questions to be you know the nice guy the person they they, they like you have to, you gotta have an offer that they're going to be interested in you gotta have this all this stuff right you gotta do all this that's what the gurus tell you right and that's all fine and dandy and that's all great and you know what that does kind of work but it's a lot of work isn't it right keeping track of all this and sending them birthday wishes and offering them free stuff and private messaging and with comments on their posts and getting them on your list and sending them emails all these things are kind of what you got to do but what is the real what is what is the real thing that you got to do to get them to trust you because you know they have to trust you I've said that enough times you're probably tired of hearing it they have to trust you to buy from you right how do you get people to trust you like just you know think about it how do you get people to trust you in in the real in the real world right in the real world or in life if you have a barbecue right you've got a barbecue and you're getting people to come to you to either your barbecue or you go to the neighborhood barbecue right I mean why is this not loading oh there you go okay so I mean what what do you got to do in real life right in real life you got to go to these events right you got to go to these uh, things you got to go see these you got to go have people talk to you you got them they got to get to know you well oh yeah I'm kind of giving it away right the thing is for people to trust you to buy from you they have to <laughs> like you they have to like you isn't that crazy they got to like you imagine if they don't like you they're not going to trust you that's pretty basic right you got to have people like you for them to trust you okay well that's great uh okay I I got to get them to like me so how do you get people to like you <laughs> right that's the next question right the next question is how do you get people 
to like you right how do you get them to like you and you know what there's lots of things and that, that and actually this is kind of where this this whole list comes in right all this whole list you do these things all the time now I'm not saying you got to do all this but I'm saying that's what the gurus tell you to do you if you do all these things people are eventually going to get they're going to like you but why would they like you if you do this right why would somebody like you if you post every day why would somebody like you if you visit groups and, and answer questions right people will like you if you do things for them right so that's why gurus talk about engaging on other people's stuff they talk about posting every day the different kinds of posts when you do those things people start to see them well actually yeah I'm giving away the next answer so people will like you because they see your stuff that they like right so if you engage on their stuff if you engage on their stuff I mean they're gonna like you because you're a nice guy you're a nice girl you're liking their stuff you're commenting on their stuff you're hearting their stuff they're gonna like that they're gonna think you're great because you're doing what they want why are they posting on Facebook they want people to see their stuff so if you see their stuff and you actually engage in their stuff they're gonna like you that's one way for them to like you and then like I said if they like you that's the only way they'll ever trust you so they have to like you first they have to like you before they'll trust you and that's pretty basic but at the same time maybe you're not maybe you're doing all these things and you're not realizing the simplicity of this whole thing right if they like you they're going to eventually trust you and I'm not saying that you like somebody's post once and then you can spam them the link and they're going to trust you and they're going to buy it no 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 that's not what I'm saying it's just you have to go through that you have to get they have to like you before they'll trust you so before you can try to sell them something you know you could send messages to everybody you could go to Facebook and you can go engage on things and you can go and and, and comment on their stuff and you can send them a message right away and you can say hey I noticed you like horses I am my kids are taking horse camp uh, that's that's so cool I I really I really uh, I think you know we're connected so I just thought I'd send you my I was I thought you might be interested in this because we have the same we like horses <laughs> right so you could do that you could and you know maybe you'll get you know one percent of people actually checking out your stuff right and even if they check out your stuff though they probably won't buy because they have no idea who the hell you are you just sent them this random message about horses and it's cool because you both like horses and all that but and they think oh that's kind of cool that they like horses they actually took the time to look at my profile and see that I like horses and actually comment on that they actually made a small connection right so they'll probably look at your thing or not necessarily but there's a bigger chance that they will right but they're probably not going to buy from you still they're still not going to buy from you because they don't trust you so you get they got to trust you and how do they how do they get how do you get them to trust you well you have to keep doing things that they like to make them like you more and more and more and eventually they'll trust you because you're constant constantly engaging in their stuff okay well well that's great that's great JS that I have to you know keep doing that I kind of heard of that before but it's so much work I gotta go through my like how do I know who to engage with and who to I know that's what gurus tell you right they tell you just go through your news feed just go to the groups just do this just keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it and they're right they're right if you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it this is gonna work but you know what I've been doing it for five years and I do have I probably have you know a couple hundred a thousand people that I could probably you know that trust me enough to actually take a look at my stuff and probably would buy but because of the way that I've been doing it kind of more or less randomly they they kind of lost touch and if I try to reach out to them now they probably would be like well I I don't I don't remember what you, you know what it is so you'd have to build up a relationship I guess you could do that right you could kind of do that but I really want to have a way that's more 
organized right I like to organize how I do this this stuff and let's go back to how you get people to trust you enough to buy from you right so for them to trust you they have to like you right so they have to like you so you got that's why you got to do these 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 things right you got to do these things you got to post things and you gotta visit groups and you got to have your offer and you got to do all these things and you got to do that you got to send them a private message that has to do with their post whenever they're ready you got to offer them free stuff you get to come down all these things you got to do all these things all the time you got to do them all the time right all the time you got to do all these things and but the thing is that just doing those things is not going to get them to trust you it's just not right it's going to take a while it's going to happen eventually but it'll t it'll take a long time and if you want to speed that up well before we get into that let's just before we get into that let's talk about the next thing you might be thinking okay how do I get them to like me well for them to like you you got to be doing things they like right things that they want that so you got to be giving them stuff that they want so that's why the gurus talk about giving away free things you talk about uh, engaging on people's posts you talk about posting things that these people actually are interested in right so you do those things but how do you get them how do you get them to like you other than that like how do you get people to like you right in real life because you know before they like you they have to know who you are they can't like just some stranger for I mean sure maybe they'll like that you come to them on their post but they still don't know you they like the action you did but they don't necessarily like you right and for them to trust you they have to know and like you they might like everything you're doing and this is why if you're just taking these actions randomly and you're not really doing anything for them to get to know you to know who you are they're not going to trust you and that and that's the real secret the real secret to getting people to know to to trust you here's the thing for them to trust you they have to know and like you all right so that sounds pretty simple right does it sound simple if you want people so here's what I'm saying if you want people to buy from you they have to know you <laughs> right you know how we talk about and I talk about this all the time the no like trust factor right so the no like trust factor or the no like trust ladder actually in this case we're kind of talking about the ladder it's like rungs of a ladder if you want to get to the top of the ladder where people buy from you because they trust you and they trust you because they know they like you and they like you because they know you you have to go up that ladder you have to go up that ladder to get to the top and you can't jump to the top of the ladder you got to go through the bottom rungs you got to go through the rungs of the ladder to get to each level you, you, you before they so you got to be okay posting regularly you got to be uh, engaging regularly you got to be um well really <laughs> on social media that's all it is it's post regularly and engage regularly and ideally every day every day you post something that and the, and the thing is that you gotta so what you're posting has to be something that they are interested in if they're not interested in they're not even going to notice it and they're not even going to engage or they're not even going to remember it right so how do you know what they're interested in well you decide you decide what they're interested in isn't that crazy <laughs> imagine you decide how does that work you might be thinking you're maybe like how do how do how can I decide what they like you right how can you decide what they like uh just by deciding okay so how does that work you might be thinking that's totally ridiculous how can that possibly work so okay here's the here's the thing 
on social media on Facebook right you got like I don't know 1 billion people maybe 500 million let's say right so you got 500 million people 500 million people is that a little bit more people that could fit in your backyard maybe it's is it more that could fit your city maybe depending on maybe if you're in New, New York maybe not but I mean you know most people 5 million is a lot 500 million sorry I was saying New York that's kind of crazy even New York doesn't have 500 million people right so but yeah 500 mil so here's how why that matters so if you decide that the people like cats and they like coffee instead of tea and they have two kids instead of three or one and they are uh, married instead of being divorced and they have college education and no university but no, in at least college and they um work in uh, IT or they work in nursing or whatever you choose they work in something and they 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 like trips to the beach and they like this and they don't like that and they're afraid of dogs and you know whatever you you choose if you choose these things right that's who you're going to attract by posting things that those people like right mind ex mind blown imagine you decide what they like and you post those things that those people like and you're going to attract those people those people who like cats in this example they're gonna like your posts which means they're gonna like you they're gonna know you because they're gonna see your post about stuff that they like they're gonna start to know you they're gonna be like oh this person likes cats this person likes this and drinks coffee they do this they do that those people are gonna start to know you because they're gonna start to see stuff and because they like that stuff you chose the stuff because they like that stuff they're going to start to like you automatically it's just and you know if you also engage on those people's so for example say you post a picture of a cat right and people that like cats actually like your picture and comment on your picture then what you do is you go to those people's posts and you engage on those people's posts I'm just going to change this to something else here because <laughs> I don't want it to be looking like I'm doing a hey Sarah wow congratulations so those like this for example Sarah well I guess that's a that's a separate issue I'm talking about whatever you post if you post something and these people like your stuff and they comment on your stuff you go to their profiles and look at what they've posted you engage and like their stuff right so they're going to like you even more because you're engaging in their stuff you're doing things for them that they want done and then they're probably going to go check your profile out and see your other posts and they're going to like your other posts too right and it becomes kind of a snowball effect right over time Facebook algorithm is going to notice it it's going to start to show you stuff like that they're going to start to show your stuff to those people anyways it's all kind of part of the whole the whole thing right so that's the that's a circle that's why you need to post but you know that's why you need to decide who it is that you want to attract who do you want to attract and the easiest thing to do is always people like you because you know whatever you like it's a lot easier to post about stuff that you like and you end up attracting people like you because they like the same stuff you like and then they start to like you know you and all that right and that's kind of how it works they'll start to know you because they know you and they like the same stuff you like they're gonna like you and it's not about liking your product or liking your uh well yes your product I guess right or your offer it's not about that because that is not it, it doesn't scale or it doesn't I that's that's not maybe not the word I'm looking for it doesn't it doesn't really translate into huge success unless people like you they're not going to trust you they're not going to buy from you 
So even if even if you talk about your product all the time and they like your product that doesn't mean they're going to buy from you if they don't know you if they don't know you and they see you posting about your product they they might like the product they might think oh that looks like a great product to get they might see results they might see other people posting about the product and then they're going to choose to buy from somebody that they like more than you and how do you how do they find somebody they like more than you well that other person is posting things that they like it's just really that simple so if you want people to trust you enough to buy from you you have to go through that process and you know the the long and short of it is that it's relatively simple I mean I can go here and say let this you know engage on this post and I can say wow that's awesome congrats right I can just do that right and um go through other stuff here uh <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at this one <laughs> and you know that's the thing so you can go through and you can comment on stuff in your news feed and the thing with that is that if you go through your news feed you're basically taking action on what Facebook thinks you should be taking action on that's a little dangerous because you know Facebook kind of looks at what you do there's they've got these algorithms right they kind of look at what you do right and they base the post they, they show you in your news feed on your actions and you know it's pretty pretty big because it's like what are your actions right your actions are who do you engage on right what posts do you engage on and you know I'm gonna like this one the game is the process right there you go whatever right and and the thing is you whatever you're engaging on regularly right like see like okay here's the thing on Facebook you might be thinking well it's going to be based on who I engage with right not true it's not it's partly based on that <laughs> but it's a much bigger picture you have what you engage on do you engage mostly on pictures mostly on text posts mostly on video posts mostly on stories mostly on I don't know there's a whole bunch of group posts right there's a whole bunch of different kinds of posts on Facebook right what do you engage most on what do you like the most <laughs> and then and pictures gets even more complex than that because Facebook actually knows is it a sunset picture is it a picture of a zoom call like this is it a picture of a, a person smiling is it a picture of a you know a hot chick in a bikini right what is it that you engage on the most they're going to show you more of that and that's the same on other on all the platforms if you engage on a particular type of picture a particular type of video they're going to show you more of that in your feed right and as you can see um you know it looks like I engage on pictures I engage on 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 uh, this this stuff I, I must be engaged on must must engage on stuff that says money right <laughs> um you know um I don't know why this is I don't really like this didn't I oh but anyways these are my pictures these are my pictures they're showing up in my own feed because people are engaging on them because people are commenting on them right and that's the thing so as you grow your business as you grow your audience online you're gonna know you're gonna need to be engaging on stuff because if you're not and you're not doing that regularly until you get to a point where you're so huge that you don't have to do anything anymore because you got a staff and you got you know a, a million list and all that stuff you're gonna have to keep this regularly you're gonna have to be regularly engaging on stuff so that people get to like you but you're also gonna have to regularly post things right you're gonna have to regularly post so that people get to see you and know who you are and what you're about and your choice of what you're gonna post has to be based 
on who you want to attract I mean it's it's pretty basic it's pretty simple and I I'm not going to get into some an, a, something else that I might have gotten into but I've talked about it in lots of other posts but I mean there's tools out there that let you improve what you do and and but still you can just go through Facebook and go into groups like say you're really into uh, affiliates right well go to a group like click funnels Affi Avengers affiliate group or go to MLSP member group go to groups that contain people that are looking for the same results that you're looking for and or or, or sorry go into groups that people are looking for the results that whatever your offer gives them is in like I said my like the tool that I'm I was talking I talk about in other in the other posts is basically a tool that helps to in, to choose who you engage with what you engage on um and that kind of stuff right so so I mean uh that's kind of what you got to do you got to be commenting and engaging and posting and you got to be doing these things and if you want something that helps oh, oh right so the reason why I was bringing that up is because the tool I have basically lets people improve their choice of who to engage with and you know because if you just let Facebook tell you what to engage on you're going to basically be seeing the same people in your feed all the time um you're going to be seeing the same stuff which is okay um but I mean if you want to improve who you see or or engage on new people because you'd need to get new blood all the time right you want to get new people to let, know like and trust you that's kind of what you got to do and me I the people that are interested in that are in these groups in the affiliate and all that so that's why I go in those groups and I engage on those posts because that's where the people are that are interested in what I have but for you whatever it is that you're offering go find groups that people hang out in that are interested in whatever you have and that's kind of it's really that simple go up that ladder go up the no like trust ladder so that people will buy from you the people that trust you will buy from you but they have to trust you first and they have to trust you you as a person which means they have to like you and they have to know you right and that's kind of how all this works all right so hopefully this kind of give you an aha moment there and if you did reach any kind of oh my god this is awesome I'd certainly I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions obviously just go ahead and reach out and until next time uh, we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time